Feline obesity, defined as a body weight that is 20% or more above normal, is the most common nutritional problem among domestic cats. Its clinical symptoms are obvious, and if they are seen, they should be regarded seriously and handled as soon as possible. In itself, obesity will certainly inhibit a cat's normal penchant for physical activity and surely compromise its quality of life. Significant overweight can also exacerbate several serious disorders. Among the conditions potentially aggravated by overweight is osteoarthritis, which is characterized by the erosion of cartilage, the smooth tissue and joints that protects the ends of bones from painfully rubbing directly against one another, hip dysplasia, a genetically inherited and incurable malformation in which the femoral head of a cat's thigh bone does not fit properly into a socket at the lower end of the animal's hip bone, and diabetes mellitus, a disease caused by insufficient production of or response to the hormone insulin, which is essential to the regulation of blood sugar. Cardiovascular health can also be impaired by obesity, since excessive weight places an extra burden on a cat's heart and vascular system. In humans, Published charts may be helpful in determining the ideal weight for specific body size. Since our pets vary dramatically in body size and shape, charts are not as useful. Instead, we visually grade pets using a body condition score, BCS. Body condition score. The BCS is a somewhat subjective rating used to standardize the level of an animal's weight. Pets are scored from 1 to 9 out of 9, with 5 to 9 being an ideal body weight. For example, a very thin cat would have visible ribs, spine, and hip bones. A very obese cat 9 to 9 would have a layer of fat over his or her ribs, fat deposits in front of the hips and near the neck and a distended abdomen. A cat at an ideal body weight would have ribs that are easily felt without pushing through a layer of fat, an abdomen that is tucked up when viewed from the side and a visible last rib. Risks for development of obesity. Weight gain occurs when cats have a positive energy balance for an extended period of time, meaning they are taking in more calories than they are using. The excess energy is stored as fat. In most instances the body is able to regulate energy intake so it matches energy use, maintaining the body condition around its set point. However, certain factors can affect this set point and predispose the cat to weight gain. Purebred cats are less likely to develop obesity than moggies. Neutered cats tend to gain weight more easily than entire animals. When a cat is neutered, the metabolic rate decreases by about 20% so neutered cats require less food than intact cats to maintain body condition. Activity can contribute markedly to the energy requirements of an individual. Cats with decreased activity or restricted opportunities for exercise are at a greater risk of gaining weight than active cats. Intact cats have a tendency to roam. Neutering reduces the desire to roam and the amount of physical activity undertaken by the cat declines. The age of the cat has also been related to the prevalence of obesity. Cats under 2 years of age are less likely to be overweight, whereas cats between 2 and 10 years require less energy and are, therefore, more likely to be overweight. Senior and geriatric cats, cats over 10 years of age, tend to be underweight. Feeding a diet that is very palatable and energy-dense predisposes cats to overeating and encourages obesity, especially if such foods are available freely or used excessively as treats. In addition, there are certain medications that can predispose to weight gain, either by increasing the appetite or decreasing the metabolic rate. Drugs commonly associated with weight gain include corticosteroids, such as prednisolone, amitriptyline, and cyproheptidine. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Treatment of Obesity it is dangerous for cats to lose weight too quickly because this predisposes them to the development of hepatic lipidosis, a potentially fatal liver disease whereby fat is deposited within the liver as a result of a change in metabolism during fasting. A gradual, steady decrease in body weight is ideal, it may take up to a year for a severely overweight cat to reach its ideal body condition. A veterinary surgeon can draw up a weight loss program that combines a suitable feeding and exercise plan with careful monitoring. It is very hard to see weight loss in a cat that you are in close contact with on a daily basis. Regular visits to a veterinary surgeon for weigh-ins will also ensure that weight loss is not too rapid. Cats are carnivores and, unlike humans and dogs, they must have meat in their diet to survive. A cat's natural diet consisting of small prey mammals would be high in protein and low in carbohydrates. In order for cats to lose weight, veterinary diets have been designed which are high in protein, low in fat, and low in carbohydrate. This helps cats to lose fat whilst maintaining lean body mass. In addition to a suitable diet, cats can be encouraged to exercise either through increasing play or by encouraging movement around the house, 
walking up and down stairs either by using a pet harness or by moving feeding bowls, etc. Puzzle feeders have also been found to enhance physical and emotional well-being. Adjust cat's meals to help him lose weight. Once you have identified that your cat is overweight or obese, it is important to adjust feeding specifically for weight loss, using a specific nutritional product, portion, and meal frequency. There are scientifically formulated nutritional products to help with healthy and safe weight reduction in cats. All meals and treats should be fed only in your cat's bowl. This will help prevent overfeeding since it requires more effort from you and your family. You should also separate your cat from the kitchen or other areas where food is prepared or eaten to eliminate the temptation to give people food. Separating the cat from other household animals while feeding can reduce competitive eating and food sharing as well. Ideally, your cat should eat two or more small meals throughout the day to reduce hunger and begging. It is appropriate and important to feed a nutritional product that has lower overall calorie density, yet maintains an appropriate nutrient balance your veterinarian can help you determine which nutritional products are best for your cat. Cutting down on snacks and or treats is the first step to reducing energy intake. When your cat begs, you should respond by petting, exercising, or playing. If you do feed treats, be sure to use them sparingly. When treats are used, reduce your cat's regular meals to compensate for the extra calories. Only low-calorie treats or catnip should be given. When beginning a weight loss program, your cat's diet should be very consistent. The amount of food you should feed will vary greatly depending upon the caloric density of the specific food that you are feeding. The number of calories your cat utilizes is based on the daily energy requirement for your pet and the amount of exercise he or she receives. It will be very important that you use a measuring cup to accurately determine the portions you feed. Once the new food has been selected and the new portions are determined, it is critical that you be consistent with feeding, portions and meal frequency, and to resist the temptation to provide inappropriate snacks. It is important to remember that while a low-calorie diet will help your pet maintain a healthy weight, it will not help him or she lose weight initially. Caloric intake, as discussed above, is a critical component of effective weight loss. Maintaining optimal condition Once a cat has reached its target weight, it may be preferable to feed a light or low-calorie food. These diets are designed for the less active feline and do not contain as many calories as the normal maintenance foods. While it is hard to see weight loss in a cat that you are watching every day, it is equally difficult to see the early stages of weight gain. Regular weight checks should be continued to ensure that the fat doesn't start to creep back on. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.